Today's Spotlight on Naperville is brought to you in part by the following sponsors. Welcome back to Spotlight on Naperville. I'm Nancy Wearsome, and we are visiting now with our guests from the Chabad Jewish Center of Naperville. So welcome to all of you. Thanks. Rabbi Mende Goldstein is the director, so good to have you. Dr. Mike Cohen is a member, yep. so wonderful to have you. Thanks. And Alta Goldstein is co-director, so good to have all of you. Well, Rabbi, I want to start with you, and let's talk about the mission of the Chabad Jewish Center. Well, our mission is to reach out to every single person and to, in the community and help them spiritually or materially in anything that they may need. It could be a, a helping hand, help somebody engage more spirituality, or just to be a friend for somebody. Whatever the, the need may be, we're there for that. So that's, that's quite a big mission. Now, Alta, why do you think the, um, the center is so important to our community? We think every person is important and every person has a part of God in them and What a great answer. I love that. I love that. And well we really believe that and we grew up believing that and we try to instill that to the children we interact with at Hebrew school camp, whatever the program is, that everyone's important and whatever we can do for someone else, be there for them, whatever it is, and that's what makes the world a better place. Yeah, that's great. And Mike, how did you find the Chabad? Well, we initially found it because we had friends who were going there. Okay. They brought us one Friday night for services, mm -hmm. and we met Rabbi Analta, and it was a very warm, welcoming environment, and we were kind of looking for some place for us to fit in, and it seemed like a good fit. And you, have you been going for a long time? For a oh, number been of there years? for about three and a half years. Okay, up oh, four well, that's years. good. That's great. Um, now let's talk a little bit, Rabbi, about you, you mentioned briefly, but some of the programs that you offer in a little more detail. We offer various programs for everybody. We have youth programs, which includes our Sunday Hebrew school. We have a summer camp, which is actually going on right now. So after this interview, I kind of take off my tie and everything and jump right into the camp spirit. I love yeah, it. Okay. So, well, sounds good. Know, so I, really have a, I really have a good you time. You could have worn your camp shirt, you know. Mm. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Maybe next time. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And Alta, now you are really the one in charge of the children's programs, right? I love the children. I love them and I, I love working with them and getting my hands dirty with them and whatever it is. I love to see their smile. They're just so innocent and pure and and whatever we can give them, that's what they're taking for life. So I just want to make sure that it's something good they're going to take. So what kinds of things would you do in the summer camp? We've done sewing, art, drama, martial arts, swimming, water park trips, and just to be around a bunch of Jewish friends. And then we also teach them about their heritage. Mm -hmm. We teach them songs. They go around singing, I'm a Jew and I'm proud. And, I'm going to sing it out loud, and it's just from being the only Jewish child in their class or school to sure. to be around being others the odd one that, out, yeah. and now they can just sing it and with pride. Sure. That's a gift. Yeah, and that's that's important for them as well to 100%. to be with their other friends. Yep. Um, now you're having a picnic and open house, so you are really going to live what you just said that you are welcoming everyone. So tell us about the picnic and open house. Um, everyone's welcome to come and they can ask us any question they want and we can eat and socialize and eating get, is always good for sure. <laughs> <laughs> eating is good okay so July 28th 12 to 2 yes and do you want people to let you know ahead that they're coming that's always better yes so, so you have, have enough food, food for them yes. to eat right okay or else or you know we can order too much and then eating it for the next three months <laughs> <laughs> give it to the kids right <laughs> exactly so if someone wanted to get involved with the center how would they go about that so you did that so you went with someone and then did you end up getting more involved or did you yeah and then we ended up getting more involved it was a, a great fit for us um, I grew up in a more religious background my wife um, grew up in a much less religious background so it was hard to get into a position where everybody was comfortable mm -hmm. and we go to Chabad 
the image is that everybody's very religious, like the rabbi and Alta are, but that's not the case. Mm -hmm. um, there's all different levels. Everybody is kind of at whatever level they're comfortable. There's no pressure to be more religious than you are or you want to be. Um, and like I said, I grew up much more religious, my wife less, and both of us are and equally comfortable. comfortable in that atmosphere. And that's a really good point because I think some people might be intimidated if, if they weren't, as you say, very religious. And right. They might be uncomfortable going, but now you know they'll feel like, well, whatever, wherever I am, in in my journey is good that I would be welcomed right. so absolutely yeah well that's good good for you for having that type of an atmosphere you must be very welcoming we are you know <laughs> that's our mission that's our goal if somebody wants to meet us at the center they could come meet us at the center if not at the center we could start off at Starbucks down the block you know, slowly make your way in. And there you go. Yeah. I like that. In the camp shirt, right? In the camp shirt. In the camp shirt. Okay. So your community picnic and open house is July 28th, 12 to 2. Um, is there something um, that we haven't mentioned about the Chabad that you think is important for people to know? We're talking about the event, you know, it's a great opportunity for, for people to come meet other members that are already participating in the community. If, parents are looking for a place to send their children for a Sunday school, for our Hebrew school. They could come see the facility and uh, meet the members, the directors, and things like that. So we're really giving people the opportunity to, to come see for themselves without any commitment, you know, just to mm -hmm. see for themselves whether it's some, if it's a fit for them. So a lot of your members will be there. Correct. Yes. Good. Well, I appreciate you letting all of our audience know about the center and if they would like to go. July 28th, 12 to 2. They're welcome, and thank you so much, and we wish the Chabad and all of you all the best. Thanks so much. Thank Thanks you very for much. Us. Thank you. And we're going to take one last break when we come back. Century Walk, so stay with us.